Hi, welcome to another basic digital skills video brought to you by Southwark Council's digital inclusion team. This is one of a number of videos that we've made to accompany our printed digital skills guide, which is available for free from our team and our details are available at the end of this video. Now, in this video, we're going to be looking at how to navigate a website. So once you've uh, got successfully online and you're able to use Google, uh, to search for what you want, then the next step is obviously to start using uh, websites. So when you go to a website and uh, you start to look at it, then you'll find that it's different to conventional media. And we're going to explore those differences today and show you how to successfully uh, find your way around a website, which is what navigation means. So let's get started. I've uh, opened up Google on the Google Chrome browser and I can obviously uh, type in here BBC and it comes up with some suggestions again on the drop down menu as we've seen previously. Uh, football, sport, weather and news. So lots of categories we go to. Let's just click off of here, click the Google search and it takes us uh, to the most popular search results for the BBC and unsurprisingly the BBC website is at the very top www.bbc.co.uk uh, here are links to parts of that page so let's go straight to the home page and as you can see it's uh, a very visual website it has uh, lots of images if we go uh, up here to the top here uh, there's the BBC logo. Now, as you might know, the BBC is a public service. Uh, it's paid for by uh, your TV license. So when you pay for your TV license, uh, that money goes uh, to the BBC and it pays for programmes uh, on the radio and on TV. And as you can see here, it also pays for a website. Now, the website is a very interactive one. It has lots of features on it. So this is why I chose it as a, an example of uh, how to navigate. Now, if you're looking to use this website on a regular basis, it's probably best to register uh, for an account with the BBC. So let's have a look here where it says sign in. Now, most uh, websites that uh, are pay for websites uh, you have to register for but some uh, free websites you can register to and the BBC is one of those okay so you can sign in uh, as a user and this is the same if you're using my Southwark website uh, you might want to register uh, to use the services that are on that website and it's the same here so if you register with the website you can watch BBC programs uh, on the iPlayer platform which we're going to take a look at now if you don't have a BBC account it says here at the bottom uh, register now so let's do that click that left click okay let's start this is this account is for someone who is under 13 or 13 and over. So most of us will be 13 and over. And then we put in our date of birth. And it's remembered mine, so I can just click it and continue. And then you enter your email. I'm going to put in my work email. Uh, I'm going to make up a password it needs to have. Now, this is uh, something that's quite important, that when you register for something, that you make a note of your password. And they often have certain criteria that you have to meet. So this one has to have eight or more characters. Uh, it has to have one letter. And it has to have one 
symbol. So I'm going to type in something here. And I'm going to put in my postcode. And it's asking for my gender, so I'm going to fill that in too. It's got arrows at the end here, which indicates a drop down menu. So click that one and then register. OK, so now it says that I'm signed in. It's got a nice picture there of uh, somebody using the tablet. It's uh, saying, do I want to keep up to date? And I'm going to say, yes, please. I just received a pop up on my screen from my emails telling me that I had uh, signed up. So I've got email confirmation. And again, when you register for a website, uh, you should receive email confirmation. Uh, I've also got this that's popped up from my computer and it's saying do I want to remember that password or get my computer to remember that password I do so I'm going to click save there and now I should be okay to continue so if I scroll down there and you might notice that actually I didn't see the continue button until I scrolled down so make sure that uh, when you're using websites that you do scroll down and see the whole page if you need to and then I can click continue and now I am signed in I'm registered with uh, the BBC and so I'll be able to use hopefully all the functions on this website now the next one is uh, a picture of a bell and that is for notifications from the website so if I click this it takes me to another page and it says never miss your favorites uh, st stay up to date with shows podcasts and other choice picks uh, start by adding your favorites when you see them are you a fan of any of these so then I can start telling them well if I'm interested in match of the day I can click that and they're starting to gather information on what I like and then they can notify me perhaps when there's a, a story to do with match of the day or a new show to do with match of the day uh, and you could do this with number of different shows here so you can receive notifications uh, I guess that might be through the uh, email address that you've registered okay so then you've got your standard menu at the top of the page where you can see there are different categories on the websites at the moment as I've said we're on the home page if I go up to the top right hand side you can see that I've got my scroll bar and I can move this down. Now you can see there's a lot of space between the scroll bar and the bottom of the page. So that indicates that this page is quite long. There's going to be a lot of things on it. And as you can see, it starts with some main stories here. And as I move my mouse across, uh, these stories highlight. So I could click on these because they are links. And that would take me to a page where there's more information about that story and each of the pages would be similar if we uh, click the next category we can go to news uh, we've got a main story here is president biden uh, visiting the uk if we go to news we might expect to see that again on the news page here it is over there uh, but this is updated and what you'll find with websites are that they constantly update uh, so there's a lot of regular uh, news that takes place so this one here you can see it's a live uh, video of the health secretary answering questions about the pandemic 
and because BBC makes TV programs as well, some of the content on here is video based. So unlike a newspaper, when you're looking at uh, some of the stories, you'll see this symbol and this uh, triangle pointing to the right indicates that there is video content. You can also uh, watch uh, BBC Live. So here you've got the BBC News Channel and if you want to, to watch that you would click that button and it would take you to a page where you could watch uh, television. That's asking have you got a TV license? I say yes. And then you get this circle turning and if your internet connection is good then the video should play. And if your internet connection's not so great uh, or you've got a problem, then you'll probably see that circle turning for too long. And uh, you might then have to look at your settings or have a word with your service provider. Uh, here, again, you can listen to the radio online. So you can listen to the radio over the internet. And again, that is something uh, that many people enjoy but don't realize perhaps that you can do that across the internet rather than uh, listening to something on the radio. So that's the news page and again it's quite long there and at the bottom you've got links as well to different pages or different categories. Uh, the main links of course are at the top here. Now under the news uh, page where we are. You've also got this sub menu. So if you're interested in a particular uh, story, then you can click on that and that page would change. So coronavirus, if you're interested in what's going on with that. Again, you've got a long, long page full of stories specific uh, to the pandemic. And again, here you've got video that you can click. And so it's rather like uh, a cross between a newspaper and television. And you've got lots of sub menus here. You've got uh, world news, business news, politics, and that's just under the news section. Then we've got weather. So if you wanted to, again, you've got this search engine at the top here and you've got the icon for search so we can type in here and perhaps I want to search uh, Bermondsey and it knows that so let's click that see what the weather's going to be like in Bermondsey and you can see here that these today's weather 24 degrees high and that's around three o'clock uh, to five o'clock and then you've got the days ahead here and you can click that to find out Friday we're going up in temperature oh my word very hot and uh, you can even click ahead for a longer term forecast there so next week cooling back down again as you might expect okay here you've got a map and you can play this one and it can show you sort of running forecast shows you changing conditions and as you go down you've also got something from BBC weather so probably a long-term forecast or more detailed forecast so lots of stuff there if you're interested in uh, the weather now this is the one that is promoted a lot on BBC TV. Now, obviously, when you're watching TV, you have to watch programmes uh, as they are uh, appearing. So at a certain time, a programme will appear. If you don't want to watch TV in that way and you want to watch specific uh, programmes when you want to see them, then you can go to this page and you can watch whole dramas you could watch all the episodes of a drama at once uh, do have a little bit of binge watching or you can watch uh, something from the many uh, different categories that BBC TV offers 
So again, if we scroll down, you can see that you've got family shows and most popular shows and binge worthy series. So if any of you've got Netflix, this is a little bit like Netflix, but purely um, BBC TV programs. So you've got all the genres like comedy and entertainment. And again, if you click on this pink uh, play symbol, that will bring up the show that you want and you'll be able to play that show. So just go back to the top here. Now you've got your main menu for the website here, but you've got the menus for BBC iPlayer here. So you could look for a show via channels. And as you can see, BBC one, two, three, four. So those are all the television channels, but you can also search for uh, radio as well. You can search for it under categories and that shows you the genres that you might be interested in. So for instance, if you were just doing a recipe and you wanted to, some food programs, you could click that one. And here you've got A to Z. So if you know the name of a program, then you can search it under the letter of the show. So they're under N, a lot of cookery shows by Nadia Hussain and you can also search using TV Guide so that presumably is what's on now and you can see that by the pink line underneath that shows you the progress of that show and shows you different dates that you can click as well so there's your TV Guide my programs, well, if you've registered, that probably means that you can pick out things that uh, you're interested in adding. So you can choose some programs to add to a list. And here you've got recommendations. So if you started watching things, then again, the BBC will start to generate things that they think that you'll be interested in. Of course, if you want to search uh, the iPlayer, you can type in the search engine. So Again, if you wanted to see a show, all results. Ah, oh, there we go. Football focus. So, did bring it up uh, under that menu that appeared. Okay, so we've got lots of uh, the show Football Focus. If I was interested in searching that, you can watch at your leisure uh, when you want to watch it and however many episodes that you would like to watch. So it gives you a lot more freedom in your viewing. Uh, you can obviously click the back button to go back if you've uh, finished watching that. Uh, I'll finish looking at that. Let's have a look at uh, BBC Sounds. And this will be uh, music and radio. So you've got some um, shows here. And all of these ones are live at the moment. And again, there's the symbol. So if you wanted to listen to one of these shows, you could. You've got the arrows here to move along to find your favourite uh, radio channel from the BBC. Obviously there's a lot of uh, radio stations that they have uh, such as Radio 2, Radio 3, Radio 5 Live, um, Radio 6. So there's lots of different types of music and then down here you've got a series of uh, podcasts. So here's the shows that you could choose from and uh, if we clicked on this one uh, you can see there's a library of shows that you could listen to. And a lot of people use podcasts to listen to music uh, on the go on their headphones. So that's the BBC uh, website. As you can see, there is a vast variety of uh, features to enjoy and the BBC tries to cater for all audiences. Uh, hopefully that gives you an idea of how to uh, navigate a website successfully. Uh, remember you've got generally the menus at the top, 
your scroll bar at the side and then sometimes when you've got drop down menus remember you've got these arrows that reveal more features and you, of course you've got search engines as we've mentioned previously so that's the BBC uh, website now uh, another website that you might find useful is the Southwark Council website and here you've got the link to Southwark Council so let's go straight for the home page and here you can see that it's not so much in the way of a video but it's clearly laid out with icons uh, oh there is some video here's some video uh, that you might be able to play walk to school week so we've got some features some news features but here you've got simple icons that you can uh, click on so if you're interested in ordering uh, a new bin then you've got this sub menu that appears in dark blue uh, there's a pop-up from my email it's notifying me again about the BBC account that should disappear in a moment you've got garden waste collection you've got uh, report missed bin collection uh, you can replace your bins and your bags and you can order a bulky uh, waste collection so each of these categories would help you complete functions with our services so if you've got something that you want to report then please do use the website because that's uh, a good and clear way in which uh, if you need something uh, you can get in contact with the council here you can sign up and register again for my southwark and that way you can do things like pay for things or order things uh, from the, the website you've got a menu here for all services to the top right hand side and so you can see a much larger range uh, of services that you might find useful so if you're trying to find out about parks here you've got information about the parks the opening times the projects that are happening and uh, exercise license so if you're exercising in the park uh, i think that's for people that are running uh, their own exercise classes for people uh, so perhaps you need a license these days but obviously again like the bbc site uh, there's a lot of features on it a lot of separate pages that you might find useful and this menu here should help you find what you want uh, here uh, there's an accessibility tab so if you have uh, impaired sight, you can have uh, you can listen to the page being read to you so if you click that a menu appears don't forget to put the slider up so you get the volume right and then it will read out uh, the contents of the page to you when you want it to stop then you can just click the cross and that will turn off so that is the Southwark Council uh, website again the same rules of uh, navigation apply you can search specifically in the uh, search engine or you can obviously go down to the quick links and navigate a little bit more quickly to what you want okay and then one last uh, page that you may find useful is the Learn My Way website. Now Learn My Way is a digital learning site which helps you uh, improve your skills. So if you like learning independently 
and you like to uh, to follow a course that's structured in a way from simple up to sort of intermediate skills, then the Learn My Way website is an excellent website. As you can see, I've done a search here. There's a couple of adverts indicated by the A and the D. I'm going to go past those. And this is the site that you are looking for, Learn My Way. And it's made by an organization called the Good Things Foundation. And if you click on that, that's their website. And that provides you with a little bit of uh, information about uh, what they do. Just accept this. Uh, here's a short video about Learn My Way. And then here it has a button that says uh, visit the Learn My Way website. And you can see it's opened a new tab here. So my previous page, the Good Things Foundation website is still open, but it's going to um, open the uh, it's going to open the Learn My Way website. It's taking its time a little bit. And here's the website. And again, you've got a menu at the top, quite a simple menu. You can choose from these tabs, home page, subjects, or if you're helping someone else, you can get information about what to do. Uh, possibly some courses. What would you like to do? Uh, so you could click see all learning, but what I would recommend that you do is register first. There's a very quick and easy form that you can register on. And there you go. You can fill in your details here just by clicking in the boxes. Fill in your email address. Then if you don't have that, you can click that box and uh, the interface changes. OK, uh, then you make up a password. Now remember to make a note for your password. And remember, if you are asked to use capital letters, uh, then make a note of that too, because people forget that they uh, They've used a capital and passwords are case sensitive, which means that if you use a small letter where it should be a capital, it will not accept it. So it's very, very important that when you're registering for a website and you type in a password and uh, you make it up and you write it down, that you make a note of the actual details of capital letters uh, to make sure that you remember the right password when you come back to use it again. OK, it says a center here. Now that might confuse people. Uh, some people might be doing this in a formal center. If you're doing this at home, you just click I don't have a center and then you decide whether you're happy for them to contact you and then you click register. And that will uh, mean that next time you use it uh, up here, your name will appear. And the good thing about that is it keeps a record of your learning. So when you start to progress through the courses, which you can see here, it will keep a record of how, uh, which courses you've done and how far you've got with the course. Uh, and you can see here that it has uh, basic uh, skills such as using a keyboard uh, or using a touch screen. It has basics about getting online and using email. It has uh, information about programs. So if you're interested in uh, using some of the Office uh, programs, the Windows Office, which includes Word and Excel, which you might have heard of. Uh, Word's for typing documents and Excel is for uh, spreadsheets uh, to keep data. Then you've got things on video calling and online shopping, uh, socializing online, so a bit of social media, and then you've got safety. So these videos can take you to the next level of understanding. And the great thing is that they're accessible as well. So if you start with 
this one you can see it says start this subject you can click it and that will start that lesson and you can also like the Southwark website listen to it being read out so it will give you information um, via voice and again if you suffer from uh, sight impairment then that can help you and uh, watch these uh, repeatedly to go over information when you've got the information that you want then you can click the continue button and there you can see it starts to tell you about the uh, keyboard layout when you're happy you've got the information as i say just click continue and it takes you to the next stage so it's a very very interactive site should be fairly easy to follow um, but very enjoyable site that can help you improve your skills uh, that's the end so let's close down our tabs and here uh, as you can see the BBC have sent me a survey so they want some information um, I'm not going to do that now because that's the end of the video today so thanks very much uh, for watching I hope you found it interesting and if you have any suggestions for further videos or there's something in particular you'd like to see then do let us know uh, as I said earlier uh, the contact details for our team are at the end of this video thanks very much for watching have a good day goodbye